hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i was able to take this dresser from looking like this and turn it into this a very pretty very glam dresser on a very affordable budget so if you are interested in how i was able to get this makeover please keep watching So of course this dresser looks very old, it looks dated, there is tons of scratches and scuffs on it as you can see, broken drawer handles and everything else, but instead of throwing it away I figured I could give it a makeover. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to work on removing the handles of course, so that's what I'm doing here, I'm just going through all of the drawers that still had handles left on them and removing them. Once I was done removing the handles, I went with a wet cloth and just wipe down the entire dresser to remove any dust that may have accumulated on the dresser and just any stains and everything and I wiped that down entirely with a wet cloth and then I used a dry cloth and went over that to remove the wetness. Next is to remove each and every drawer from the dresser so we can go ahead and get it ready for painting. So I decided for this DIY I was gonna use chalk paint. So the chalk paint that I use is Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color gray. I believe I'll put the exact picture and color down in the description box. And all I'm gonna do after I give my paint a good mix is I am just gonna go ahead and apply my chalk paint to my dresser on the outer side of course. So the top, the sides, bottom, I'm just gonna go right ahead and get that done. Now of course this dresser I decided to use because I was giving my bedroom a complete makeover and stay tuned that video will be coming up once I am completely done with everything. I do intend on making a video of my bedroom makeover. Uh, but so this was one piece <laughs> of the whole makeover that I did in my bedroom. So once I was fully done with my entire first coat, I let that dry and then I went in and applied a second coat. While the second coat was drying, I went in and went ahead and painted my drawers in the same color of course. So once all my drawers were painted and dry to touch, I went ahead and placed them back in the dresser and left them overnight to completely dry. The next day, I went in with a chalk paint protectant sealant to make sure that the chalk paint did not chip. So I did go ahead with a, seal, a sealant and I bought this from Home Depot as well. And I just went ahead and I believe I gave the entire dresser one or two coats at most um, to just seal in the chalk paint and prevent any chipping. And then once I was done applying the entire sealant over the entire dresser, again I let that sit overnight. The next day, I went in and applied my cover. Now what I'm using for the dressers, I'm using these acrylic, not acrylic, they're mirror reflective um, papers and I will leave a link down to those that I use down in the description box below. So what I did here, I, I don't remember the exact measurements for the sheets but that information will be down in the description box um, and I will also leave the measurement for my dresser. So because my dresser was much longer than each of the acrylic sheets. I needed two and then I also needed a little spot in the middle. So what I did, I pre-measured the dimensions of my dresser 
and then I measured on the acrylic sheet and I went ahead and cut that to size and just used that as a guide to cut out the other pieces. As you can see here I'm pointing out that I also needed a smaller piece in the middle because the acrylic sheets were not large enough to cover the entire surface of the drawer. So I went ahead and decided that I would put a thinner strip in the middle to give it an overall design. So here I am just laying out my cutout sheets on the front of the dresser drawer so that way I know just how well it should fit before I go ahead and actually stick it to the drawer. Once my pieces are in place uh, and the layout is just as I want it, I go ahead and actually adhere it. And as you can see, the reflective paper does come with a backing that once you remove it, you're able to go ahead and stick it on whatever surface you would like. Now that all my pieces are adhered, this is what it looks like on all my drawers. As you can see, it's very pretty. And the next step is to go ahead and install the handles for the drawers. Now as you remember before, each drawer had one handle. But because of how I have covered the dresser drawers, now I need to go ahead and in, I decided that I'm going to use two uh, drawer pulls per drawer. Now here you can see that I'm using a screwdriver. And I'm going in with that from the inside of the drawer and just rotating my screwdriver until I am able to poke through the reflective mirror paper. As you can see, as I was doing that, it started creating a bulge on the outside. I don't. I'm assuming it was lifting the uh, the mirror reflective paper in some way. So once I realized that, for the rest of the dressers, I pretty much used just a rib nail that I pierced through the drawer and that was much easier and cleaner instead of going through with a screwdriver and then having to clean up with my exacto knife. So for the other dressers apart from this one I just used a rib nail like a screw and just pierced that right through and that was it. For my knobs I'm using these knobs here from Home Depot I believe I don't remember I want to say each was maybe five I bought 12 pieces so in all I think it came out roughly to about $70 or so and the tip of the knobs are painted in gold and I wasn't sure that I wanted gold finish on the silver slash gray dresser so what I decided to do was use Rustilium metallic finish spray paint and go ahead and spray paint the end of the knobs as you can see I've prepped the knobs in masking tape to be painted And so now I've pre-painted my knobs in silver and as you can see here the difference between the gold and silver. Now I will say at the end of it all I did all of that but when I actually placed them on the dresser you could still see the gold poking through underneath the crystal knob. So I guess I could have just left the gold initially but it is what it is. Here I am installing each of the knobs and this is what the knobs look like. Um, on the dresser. I was pretty pleased with how this dresser turned out. As you recall this is what the dresser looked like initially and here is what the dresser looks like now. I am so in love with it and I, I was so pleased with how this dresser turned out and I hope you were too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up as it will definitely help it in the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you never miss another upload. Thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you guys next time.